What's up, YouTube? This is Brian Pfeiffer of MarketingMeatHead.com. Today I'm going to teach you how to scale to multiple ad accounts through the import and export feature in Facebook. All right, so let's get started here. So here's a campaign, and uh, say for example, I, I like this one, 2868 to purchase. That's pretty good. And what I want to do is potentially take this campaign and put it into another ad account and scale uh, horizontally via multiple ad accounts, okay? And you can do this fairly simply by doing an import-export feature on Facebook. Now, first thing you probably want to do is you want to go into that ad set, okay? So click on this, select it, go into the ad set, and make sure <clears throat> you want to click edit here, and you want to make sure you want to check your audiences, make sure you don't have any custom audiences in here, because if you have a custom audience in here, then that's going to cause an issue when you export. It's not going to be able to recognize that uh, custom audience in the other ad account, okay? So, uh, for example, um, we could potentially exclude uh, purchasers here, okay? And notice I have a purchase uh, 180 days in here. Uh, I'm not going to put that in right now, but we could. Now, uh, the way you do this is you just got to go into your, um, um, go into at the uh, at the little bars here on the top left under the business tools. You just go into audiences, okay? And then you can easily, if you don't know, you can you, when you have your custom audiences like your purchases, your add to carts, your initiate checkouts and whatnot. Um, I'll have another video coming up here later this week on retargeting. But here I have one, one custom audience. But you can easily just click on this and you can share it um, to the new ad account. So here's a brand new ad account that I wanted to uh, um, scale to. Okay, I want to I run this and say multiple ad accounts. So you got to go here. Notice how this is the business ID. You need the ad account ID. Okay, that's this one. So you grab that, okay, and then you go back over here, uh, not to that one, that one's not doing so hot, you click, you just put that, um, you just paste that in here, okay, and this is an account outside the business, and you just go ahead and just click share, okay, share is right there. All right, so that's the first thing you want to do, you want to share that, uh, if you have a custom audience inside your, uh, inside the account that you're going to export. Uh, your campaign, so you don't have, you know, you save some time here, you don't have to set this thing up completely from scratch. You want to make sure you share the custom audiences first, okay? So now let's go back and do the import export feature so I can teach you guys how to do that. All right, so it's this one here. You want to be on the campaign level. You're just going to click on this, select the one you want to, you want, you want to um, export. Now you can export the whole, all the campaigns if you want, but that's, you know, pretty big. There's a bunch of stuff here a lot of times. But if you just want to do one, this is the button here import export, export import feature, okay? So you click on that. Now you could select all, which would be in all the campaigns, or you just do the selected, which is going to be this campaign. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do selected. We're going to export as a CSV. Um, I think you can do it the other options as well, but personally I like to do the CSV. It seems to work for me always. And uh, you'll notice here it's a, now a CSV file down here in the, in the, the browser. So I'm going to show this in, in my folder, and it's going to be in my downloads folder, okay? And uh, it's this one top one so I'm going to make a right click on it I'm going to open with Excel and then there's three things we have to do here uh, we have to go ahead and remove this campaign ID so just go ahead and delete that now don't mess with the columns or the headers or anything and then we got to go ahead and move this ad set ID okay and then we got to go and find the ad ID which is down here a little bit further all right we're going to see that um, I'll look for it in the top headers here. Um, it's a dynamic ad, okay? So the ad ID is uh, is actually right there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, if you notice here, dynamic ad voice. Uh, I think we can actually leave the dynamic ad here because it's... Um, we're going to actually probably leave the dynamic ad. I don't normally do this with dynamic ad. Typically, I'll do this with like a post ID, a standard post ID. But uh, let's just see if the uh, ad ID. Okay, yeah, this is where we got to delete. Okay, so delete that. So three things. Okay, and we're good to go. All right. Now, we got to make sure you save this. Okay, and, and remember where you saved it. This is in my download folder. Okay, so it's right there. So now what we do is we go over to the new ad account, which is this one, and we're going to import it. Okay, so we're just going to import uh, ads, and I'm going to choose an Excel file, and I'm going to go into my uh, my export. Uh, that was the one, this one here. Just double check to make sure I grab the right folder. It was uh, 917 underscore 1771. Yep, that's the right one. And then you just click import. Okay, and then it, this takes a second. 
I'll pause the video and then come back as it's done because it takes a second. All right, notice here there's um, some view errors in Excel, okay? Now, that's because it's a dynamic creative, okay? Now, if this was post IDs, that's how you do it. But if you notice here, if you click on the uh, ad set here, you're going to see everything else is the same. Now, you probably want to change your campaign name now because you're in a new account, okay? So probably change your campaign name, and then you're going to want to change um, anything in here. You probably really don't need to, but if we go over to the uh, ad set level, you're going to see that there's no ads here because it's a dynamic creative, okay? Now, if I were to do this, um, I'm going to do this with another one here just to show you guys. Uh, this one is... Um, this one is a, 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 an account that I was running, but I, I no longer can run it because Facebook doesn't like it anymore. But uh, I can still, if I wanted to, it's a little risky now, I could actually go in and, uh, you know, I can't transfer my custom audiences. I'd have to remake them because the account is now disabled. So you can't do it. You notice they were all locked there for a second. And then, uh, but I could still take this campaign and put it in another ad account. Um, so this, this one here is, uh, had 30 purchases. And uh, this was pretty good for me. So what if I wanted to do, notice this account is banned. And say I wanted to go ahead and uh, take this one and export it. <coughs> All right, we go to selected. We're going to export as a CSV. It's going to pop up here in my downloads folder. All right, and then we're going to open this with uh, Excel. And then <clears throat> same thing here. We just got to go and uh, remove the campaign ID. Okay, so I'll show you guys how this actually works. Now, the custom audience thing is not going to work because I can't transfer the custom audiences out of a disabled account, which is kind of annoying. So I have to just recreate those, which is no big deal. As long as you still have access to your pixel, you can create the custom audience. It's pretty easy. Um, I was just I just had a purchase uh, custom audience in there, so we remove the campaign ID. Now we got to go and remove the ad set ID. Okay, just go down. Make sure you get rid of all of them. Don't don't miss any. Notice I have a bunch of um, a bunch of ads or a bunch of uh, ad sets. Okay, so this is a pretty big import. All right, and then um, you got to scroll all the way over to the ad ID. Okay, so where's the ad ID here? And we have dynamic. I think it's. I think I must have missed it here. Add ID. Boom. Okay. So get rid of this column. All right. <clears throat> Obviously, we have to save this. Save it. X out. Go over here to our new. Um, this is our new uh, ad account, okay? And we're going to go ahead and uh, get to the campaign level. And here's the one that I, I just imported, but we're going to delete that. I'll just do another one here for you guys to show you how it is. And uh, so that's gone. And then let's do an import. We're just going to do ads, choose the file, find our downloads file folder, grab the one we just edited. Okay, import. <clears throat> I'll pause the video right now because this is going to take a second because there's a lot of lines. All right, so there was a couple of errors that came through, but uh, you can see the campaign for the most part came through. Uh, mostly due to the custom audience. Okay, notice there's a setup error here because it wasn't able to, um, if we click on this, uh, the custom audience was, it, it'll tell you the custom audience was not available. Okay, so what you have to do is just go into all these just select this, um, create a custom audience, create your purchasers on the pixel on the new one, and you can just edit this. <clears throat> and then um, you'd want to go ahead and exclude your uh, exclude your uh, purchases here. Okay, go down. It's a little slow motion here while I'm filming, but uh, you got to make sure your pixel is also added to this ad account. Okay. And then you want to create a custom audience right here and then exclude uh, your pixel. Okay, notice I can't exclude this because there's an error because uh, if I take that off and this error should go away, even though it's a little slow here, but um, that's the reason I'm getting the error because 
that I see the error went away now. Okay, and then it looks like there's another error here on the ad set, ad level. Uh, must have had something. I did this earlier and it didn't give me an error. So sometimes this, you know, these this process is a little bit goofy, but it, it's a time saver. If you have a lot of ad sets in a campaign or a lot of campaigns and you want to put them over to another ad account for um, you know scaling or whatnot. Um, so custom audience is not available. Okay, well we we already know that. So we got to create the custom audience. Make sure the pixel is attached to this ad account, and then what we'll do is go in and uh, uh, once we have the custom audience correct, then we can go in and, and publish this thing, and uh, we should be able to good to go. Okay, so you know obviously the first thing I showed you in the beginning uh, was the um, how to you know share the custom audience. So you want to the two things you want to do before you start a new ad account is you want to make sure your pixel is um, you know attached to that ad account and then the person obviously that's working on the ad account you want to make sure that's attached to the pixel as well and then you want to share the custom audience to the new ad account and then you can do the import export feature and um, theoretically it should work I've, I've done it multiple times and it's worked fine uh, but you got to do all those things first in order to get your ducks in a row but uh, be warned that when you have a um, an ad account that gets banned if you try to pull the uh, campaign out of there and put it into a fresh ad account, uh, you're risking another ban. For some reason, if uh, Facebook does not like that product or there's a reason that that ad account got banned, uh, there's a high likelihood that the new ad account is going to get banned too. Okay, I've run into this recently where they decided they didn't want the uh, product that I was running on Facebook after four months of running the product on Facebook. And uh, pretty much everything that was attached to that product, business manager wise, has been banned. Okay, so uh, be very careful. I would use this import export feature when you're trying to scale to multiple ad accounts. Uh, when you have a, a campaign that's working, uh, that's the quickest way to scale. It, take the campaign that's working out of one ad account, put it into like three or four others, and then uh, you know, you know, put some budget on there and go for it. And it should be good. I'm sure you'll find some winners. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll talk soon. Bye.